Hello YouTube, after looking into the Barbosa patent, uh, this uh, led me down the road of electrostatics and I came across some rather interesting effects. So here we have two aluminum plates uh, and in the middle we have 30 gauge copper uh, spool of wire. And uh, so across these uh, plates we have DC power supply. But as you can see the positive is disconnected, so the only thing we have connected is the negative. And one one side uh, um, one side of this coil isn't connected to anything, as you can see. It's just dangling about. So the uh, then uh, the one side that that is connected goes into our hot uh, AC, and then uh, our other neutral is from the ground, from the house ground, up there. So let's see what we're getting. So okay, we're getting 5.32 volts AC. So this again, this is schematic. See positive, negative, but in this case we just have uh, the negative on top. Let's let's move the positive to the top. No. Okay. Five uh, five point three two volts. So uh, as you can see, the circuit here is broken. We're just charging one side. The other side isn't connected to anything. And then um, this, uh, so we have electrostatic induction there, but the circuit is broken as you can see. So um, I found that rather curious, and uh, we're, we're going to see another example of this with a different coil. Okay, so this is another example of this effect that I discovered. Perhaps somebody else discovered it, but it's new to me. So here we have the schematic again. We have a very large coil. Uh, it, it's actually a coil, one of the coils from the PMH that I made earlier. So it has four, around 4,000 turns of 20 gauge um, copper enamel wire. And um, it's wound around an aluminum uh, tube. So we have um, positive going into one side of the wire. No connection is made on the other side. And then we have um, connection to the aluminum tube going to our hot AC and then the other side goes to ground. So our power is, uh, power is again uh, give, uh, from the aluminum to ground. So here we here we go. So as you can see this is our connection. See, well, In this case I have a negative connected to it. And um, But you'll see whether it's negative or positive it won't make a difference. So okay so um, as you can see it's connected to the copper wire and then um, we have another lead connected to the tube and the tube goes to our voltmeter we're getting 5.48 volts okay let's see what happens when we disconnect the ground okay disconnecting the ground see the power dies now it's one volt okay now we're reconnecting the ground 5 volts again now let, let's disconnect this um, negative connection Okay, now we just connected. Okay, 0.4 volts. As you can see, power died again. See, disconnected. 0.4 volts. Okay, now instead of connecting the negative, I'm going to connect the positive to this coil. See, 5.43 volts. So, um, so how is that possible? Uh, mainstream science wants us to believe that electron is the charge carrying particle. But whether you use the positive or the negative, but breaking this circuit, it doesn't matter. As you can see, it's, we're still getting the same voltage. So to me, this indicates that there are two particles involved in electricity. Again, let, let's, let's try this again. So we have the positive connected. We're going to switch it out to the negative. So we have a broken circuit. Okay. Go into our copper. The other end isn't connected. 5.4 5 volts. I believe this effect is significant because we have an open circuit here and um, we shouldn't be drawing any power at all as you can see from the from the main. Sure there's but it, there's potential but um, that's it and we're still getting AC AC voltage. So it's it's very simple to replicate you guys um, a spool of wire wound around uh, an aluminum a piece and uh, I'm going to try a, a third uh, version of this 
with uh, something you can readily get from a store. Okay, this is uh, another version of the same thing, but this one it's effortless to actually uh, make. All you need is a spool of wire and uh, an aluminum uh, foil. So I have aluminum foil just folded up inside. And um, so the, pos the uh, live AC goes from this aluminum foil and right now we're getting 0.3 volts and your negative is from the house ground but see what happens when we connect one of the uh, the beginning of the spool to a negative terminal let's see okay so we're getting 1.7 volts AC now now let's switch out and connect the positive Again, we're getting 1.73 volts, same as before. So here we have the conventional theory of electricity. So we have the electron, this is a load, see so you have your two terminals and a load. So the electron moves to the positive and the positive charge is, is equivalent to positive charge moving to the right. So we have one particle moving, see, this is a conventional um, explanation. This is at least Kalman explanation, we have two particles a south monopole and a north monopole as, and they're moving at the same time so um, to me experiments like this uh, prove that there's two particles involved because you see we had the same voltage we have a broken circuit and we were getting the same voltage same AC voltage no matter which lead was connected to the coil so I hope you guys play with this effect and um, have a good day I hope you enjoyed this video